That's what I'm talking about. Now that's a diss song right there. That's a diss track. We gonna talk about it. Rap beef, nigga. Somebody called the law. Somebody called the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. Chris Brown just came out in this Quavo. He did a rap song, this song, rap song. When I first heard this, I'm sitting back like, I don't care about this. I don't really want to hear about this. I said, man, when he just sitting beside that dude at the, um, at the fashion show, what are you going to make a diss song about him now? I don't know. Then I heard it. Fire. I'm talking about, yo, first thing he did was address it. I'm like, hold on, man. First of all, he the, how he started it off was he played a recording of um Quavo. He played a recording of him saying, like, I don't want no beef. I don't want to fight. First of all, look, I don't know if that's true or not, but, yo, I don't. Don't have no man. You shouldn't have no recording of you saying you don't want to fight and all that. You know people can use it on you, and that's what happened. Quavo didn't use this. I mean, Chris Brown didn't use this. Saying, "Look, I don't want to fight, man. I don't want no beef. I don't want no big man." Chris Brown came out saying, "Who want to smoke? Who want to smoke with me? Who want to smoke?" With? I'm thinking like, "Yo, what type of what type of this song is gonna be?" Came off off gate fire. Call that dude the weakest link, man. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. I'm talking about yo. He covered a lot of ground in this this song he did, man. He was rapping. It wasn't no singing. Um, he talked about old girl in the elevator, him and old girl. Somebody, you want to talk about beating bitches? You whoop bitches in the elevator, nigga. I'm like, yo. He, um, what he talk about? Take off. He said, yo, everybody was saying it should have been you. I'm like, yeah. He is going for dude's neck. The best part about it, man, he made the, um, the cover. Weakest link with... Well, Quavo eating the glizzy, man. Come on. That's the that's the art, the cover art for it. That's wild, man. Yo. Chris Brown 1-0. It's kind of hot, man. Um, I'm hot right now. That, that track fire. He got a fire beat. He got bars. He delivering. Yo, y'all don't care what nobody say. His shit better than the big three. Um, Kendrick Lamar came out with something, man. You know. J. Cole came out here. He apologized. What's my man name? Drake came out. Everybody came out with something like some little diss song and all that stuff. Chris Brown took off and beat all three of them. To me, he was direct. He had a hard beat. Like, even, um, what's my man name? Rick Ross, when he got into it with Champagne Moments. That was all right. That was all right. Like, like, like when Drake came out with his stuff, then he came out with his, and he came out with Champagne Moments. I'm looking like, okay, that's cool. But Champagne Moments is like, Champagne ain't no beef beverage. You know, it got to be some hard liquor, some beer or something at least. But not no champagne and put your finger out. And what did he start off with? Fish tanks and marble floor. Fish tanks and marble floors and the rap beef? No! Chris Brown did it right, man. Y'all should be applauding him. He even said at the end of it, you just got bodied by a singing nigga. Come on, man. He rapped harder than all y'all. He a hey, Chris Brown beat all y'all um, diss tracks, yo. Y'all can't say he didn't. When I first heard him, think of it's gonna be some. I mean, Chris Brown is talented, right? When he did that, look at me now. Yellow model chick. Yellow model sip it. He did all that. It was like, okay, Chris Brown can rap a little bit. But um, we didn't. He just came, killed them, man. I'm talking about, yo. Where that picture at, yo? It's not the. He said, um. The glizzy. There you go, right there, man. He had that damn. That's the cover art. He he is up, man. Everybody, first of all, all these rap beefs that they came out with, they all been soft. Ain't none of the beats been as hard as Chris Brown beat. Um, Champagne moments, that beat was all right. It was good. I'm like, okay, it's good. But yo, Chris Brown, he wanted to smoke off gate in his song. He he took it back to the essence of rap beef and attacking your opponent. He killed Quavo, and he said the, the world wanted you to die first, Quavo. Like man, he's Cutting, hitting low. He beat all y'all, man. He beat all y'all. He beat the big three and the, the big four, if you want to call it now, whatever. I don't know. Y'all can't say nothing about Chris Brown. Um, My wife told me years ago, probably about 10, 15 years ago, to my son, he, he the real thug. 
out of all them people, like all the rappers and stuff, it was like, I like Chris Brown, man, because he ain't scared to whoop a bitch, whoop a nigga, call somebody a, a, a slur. Everybody else scared to do that. Chris Brown ain't scared to do it. That's why I always respected him. It was like, you want to call somebody a slur, do it. <laughs> he did it. He, he take people phone. Him and Kanye West. They still beat up people. I, was, I like that, man. But, yo, the week is late, yo. Chris Brown, he came out. He smoked them. He's quite... Uh, like I said, when I first heard him looking like, man, you were just sitting next to that nigga. You ain't say nothing. But he said in that song, like, I ain't want to mess the money up. I ain't want to sit by your lame ass. I want to knock your head off. This some hit him up. No Vaseline. Stuff. Like, everybody else, man, they doing soft shit in their disc records. Like I said... The best one out of all them rap beefs was probably Champagne Moments, but Champagne, it's not a, like I said, it's not a beef beverage. And he, he started off with fish tanks and marble floors. All that sensual, no, Chris Brown, the R&B nigga came out and said, shoot you in the face, I'll wet you, bite your neck off. He did, he, he come in vicious. He had R&B, y'all can't say nothing about breezing no more. I don't know what Quavo gonna do. I say the only thing I ain't like about it, about this um the Chris Brown record is talking about um fucking somebody else's bitch. I just can't do that. That ain't in my repertoire. Um, I ain't fucking nobody else's bitch. And not because it's the moral thing not to do is fuck somebody else's bitches. I don't want to be swapping fluids with people, man. It's like, ugh. If you somebody girl, that means they getting it raw and splashing in it, and you coming behind it and diving it. No. That's why I'm like, oh, you got a man, huh? cool. Like, I done been with bitches that had a man before, but I ain't know it. I ain't never sought out nobody, bitch, you see? And I ain't gonna, that's what I'm saying. That's the only part I ain't like about it. It's like, y'all bragging about fucking somebody else, bitch. It's like, I don't care, y'all can have that. That just wasn't nothing I ever did. It's because it, it ain't the moral part of it. Like, oh, I'm a better man than I. I never step on another man's toes. I never, no, I just don't want to be in nobody else's fluids. Yo, hit no. <laughs> Yo, y'all. I don't care what y'all say. Y'all leave it down in the comment section. Y'all let me know, man. Who y'all think won? I mean, ain't, ain't no winners, uh, 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 cause he ain't going up against nobody. Quavo ain't came out yet. What he's gonna do? What he gonna say? Um, Quavo, you down one though. You ain't did nothing yet, so you know. But you are the rapper, and he's the R and B guy. The R and B guy killed you and said he the R and B guy. He didn't sing. This nigga don't. He ain't got a. He sold a million records off sing off rapping. Chris Brown. He he. Man, can you imagine? What's my man name? Music Soul Child going up against DMX, or Carl Thomas going up against Fabulous, or Michael Jackson going up against. Well, no, nah, Michael Jackson was a crip, so. Y'all seen that picture of Michael Jackson throwing up the seeds with the... I don't know, man. That, maybe that's a bad take. But R&B niggas ain't supposed to be beefing with no rap niggas. Um, but Chris Brown, yo. Chris Brown about seven foot tall. And that nigga got reach over Quavo. That nigga Quavo... Man, that message he let off at first. I don't want no smoke, man. Uh, 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 uh. Cop and please at the beginning of, of the, um, the Weakest Link record. Chris Brown got that nigga on camera. On, on, on voicemail. That's uh, not... AI generated nothing like that but he literally said I don't want to fight that's some whole shit that's some whole shit man he said you the weakest link in your crew ain't nobody respected it man Chris Brown smoked y'all man he smoked he smoked the big three the big three ain't got a hard song like this this is better than all them songs by the big three I said it here first well I might be saying the third or the 29th Depends who you listen to. I'm telling y'all my take. Um, he got him. He got them. They ain't even do it like he. They ain't got a. They ain't got a vicious beat. Aggressive. In the rap beef, they beat ain't aggressive as Chris Brown was. And he the R&B nigga, man. We definitely gonna be talking about this, man, on this channel. I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. talking about stuff just like this. Y'all gotta come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday. Come through, join the conversation. And I'll let your boy, Heist Man the Fool, talk that talk, get old news and opinions.
this is a dangerous group that groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.